This is your Money Sense Minutes. There's a wide range of investment products in Singapore. Some are more well understood, while others have features and risks that may be more difficult to understand. Today with us, we have David Gerald, President of the Securities Investors Association Singapore. Now, David, we often hear about how exchange-traded funds or ETFs are good options for retail consumers, largely because of the low costs and the diversification benefits. What are your views? Well, I would prefer not to generalize and say what products are good or which products are not good. Given that we each have different needs and tolerance for risks, what's suitable for one investor might not be suitable for another. The more pertinent issue is how well we understand a product before we invest in it. You mentioned ETFs. Many ETFs actually have swaps and derivatives, and these come with counterparty risks. If the counterparty becomes insolvent, the ETF may incur losses. So how can we tell if a product contains derivatives? Actually, the details will be in the product document, such as the prospectus and product highlight sheet. Investors should find out more about the product they intend to invest in. Example, specified investment products, which include ETFs, exchange-traded notes, Investment link policies, structured notes, warrants, futures are likely to contain derivatives. Ultimately, if you find that you do not have a good understanding of a product and risk, it's best that you don't invest in it. Just walk away. And to find out more about various investment products, check out the articles in the Smart Money columns at www.moneysense.gov.sg. This segment is brought to you by MoneySense, Singapore's national financial education programme.